from Connor McDavid's parents lying about his age so that he could play from three years old onto a multi-million custom home or that he has worn the same pair of socks his entire career. Here are 10 things I bet you didn't know about Connor McDavid. Starting us off at number 10, McDavid was granted exceptional status. Normally, in the Ontario Hockey League, known as the OHL, players must be at least 16 years old before they can get drafted. But in Connor's case, an exception was made by Hockey Canada, allowing him to get drafted by the Erie Otters at age 15. Only the third player to receive the honor, McDavid would go on to put up 66 points in 63 games during his rookie year with the team, which had him sitting second among the team in points. After three years with the team, McDavid would win five individual OHL awards, becoming the most decorated player in league history, as well as 285 points in 166 games with the team. His final season with the team was cut short due to injury, but we'll touch on that a little bit later. Next up at number 9, McDavid is a Leafs fan, but there is more to it than you think. Growing up just outside of Toronto, about 45 minutes from the Scotiabank Arena, McDavid spent his youth watching one of the most popular teams in the league, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Before him getting drafted by the Oilers, who would end up winning the number one overall pick in the lottery that year, there was a lot of hope that Toronto would be the lucky winners. Leading up to the draft, McDavid was interviewed by a local Toronto news outlet who asked how he would feel if the Leafs did secure the number one overall spot. McDavid didn't shy away from his hometown team saying, as I've told you before, playing for the Leafs would be a dream come true. I can't help it, I've cheered for them since I was a kid. I still remember going to my first game, I predicted in the car they would win 4-1 and they ended up beating the Rangers 4-1. I'll never forget that. Unfortunately for us Leafs fans, the Oilers would end up winning the lottery, but maybe that's what Edmonton needed to turn things around. And McDavid was certainly aware of his future team's struggle, telling the Toronto Sun, that's a great hockey town, they love their hockey, obviously they've been on a bit of a slide the last couple of years that's allowed them to get some unbelievably amazing players that play there now. They're just kind of a young team now I guess, I'm not quite sure what's going on moving forward, that would be an awesome place as well. Number 8, McDavid's mom wanted him to ski. Imagine a world where we didn't have Connor McDavid doing his very best to save the Edmonton Oilers franchise. Well, that was almost a reality, as McDavid's mother Kelly was an avid skier growing up. From ages 3 to 5, Connor and his older brother Cameron were both introduced to skiing, but ultimately, it was Connor's dad, a passionate Bruins fan, who got him more invested into hockey. As they say, the rest is history, but Connor is very aware of the sacrifices his mother made, telling The Athletic, it was pretty fond memories looking back, but I definitely don't think we were meant to be a skiing family. She's now spent more hours in a rink than at the ski hill in her life. I don't think she likes that, but that's the way it turned out. Like the video if you think that Connor made the right choice by going into ice hockey rather than skiing. Number 7. His fiance designed their house. McDavid is a pretty low-key guy, and although he's a superstar in the NHL, when it comes to his personal life, Connor keeps things pretty close to the chest. With that being said, McDavid and his future wife, Lauren Kyle, opened the doors and gave viewers a tour of their incredibly luxurious $4 million home in Edmonton. Kyle is an interior designer, so naturally she was the one to design the couple's home. Which to no surprise includes an in-house gym, sauna, sports court, movie theater, wine cellar, I can keep going but you get the idea. At the time the house was designed, Lauren Kyle was a longtime girlfriend, but the two are planning to get married in July of 2024, so early congratulations to those two. Coming in at number 6, his agent. McDavid's agent, Jeff Jackson of the Wasserman Orr Hockey Group, has represented Connor since he entered the league. And it turns out that McDavid's didn't even meet with any other agencies because Connor formed a relationship with owner Bobby Orr from a very young age after Connor went to a skills camp with his brother in hopes of meeting the legendary Boston Bruin. As per Sports Illustrated, rumor had it that Orr would make an appearance, but the days passed and he hadn't shown. Anticipation uh, built up wait. among the attendees, particularly yeah, McDavid. Right As the days went by, McDavid got more and more nervous and, when Orr finally showed, he proceeded to put McDavid into a headlock. But that's the kind of guy he is, McDavid says. He's so warm, so loving, he made it so there was no starstruck phase. Halfway at 5, Rehab Over Surgery Throughout his exciting career, McDavid has been able to stay relatively healthy, all things considered. To date, he's played three full 82-game seasons and the full 56 games in the shortened 2020-2021 season. In 2021-2022, he played 80 of 82 games and aside from his rookie season, has suited up for more than 75% of games every other season. However, during the 2019 season, there was speculation McDavid was going to have knee surgery, which would keep him out the entire 2019-2020 season. Instead of having the surgery, McDavid opted to do an intensive rehab, which saw him working 10 hours a day, 7 days a week, 
to ensure he'd be ready for the upcoming season. And it turns out the rehab was an incredible success as McDavid would go on to put up 97 points in just 64 games, making it only the second time in his career he missed the 100 point mark aside from his rookie year when he played just over half the season. Now at number four, jersey number 97. McDavid has been wearing the number 97 on his back since he was just seven years old. To no surprise, McDavid has been playing with kids older than him for as long as he can remember. At just three years old, McDavid's parents actually lied about their son's age so he could play with the five-year-olds. Just a few years later, a six-year-old Connor McDavid was playing against nine-year-olds in Aurora, as his parents were worried he'd be bored playing against the other six-year-olds. They knew from a young age the kid was special, and it wasn't long after that McDavid would decide on his jersey number for the rest of his life. Speaking with The Athletic, McDavid explained why he chose the number 97. Pretty easy. I chose it when I was seven years old. I made the eight-year-old team with the 96 borns. I thought it would be cool to wear 97 because I was born in 97. It's something that stuck with me. What do you think about the fact that the Connors lied and he played against older kids from such a young age on? Let us know in the comments below. Into our top three, McDavid is just one of two unanimous Hart Trophy winners. For those of you who don't know, the Hart Trophy goes to the most valuable player in the league, an award McDavid has already won three times. However, McDavid joined some incredible company, becoming just the second player ever to win the award unanimously next to the great one, Wayne Gretzky. McDavid almost won a second time unanimously in 2023, receiving 195 of the 196 first place votes, with one fifth place vote. I don't know who would vote him to the fifth place, but it's not up to me, I guess. At number two, McDavid is superstitious. It's no secret a lot of hockey players have pregame rituals, whether it's warming up with soccer or tennis ball, doing laps around the ice, or taping their sticks in a certain way. All players have their own way of doing things. Connor, to no surprise, also has his own superstitions, or more specifically, specific gear that he's worn his entire career. Now you may be thinking we're talking about a pair of skates, or most obviously a stick that Connor always uses, but to everyone's surprise, I'm talking about hockey socks. McDavid has worn the same pair of socks his entire career in the NHL, and, as you can imagine, they've gotten quite worn out. During an interview in 2023, McDavid explained that he likes the feel of the socks and that the company who makes them, CCM, apparently discontinued the stock. And at number one, almost missed the World Juniors because of a fight. McDavid is known for being the best player on the ice, but when it comes to dropping the gloves, well, he usually has his teammates sticking up for him. In fact, to date, he's only had two fights throughout his NHL career, and it's highly unlikely his teammates or coaches want to see him fighting anymore anytime soon. But a younger Connor appears to have had a bit more of a temper, as he actually fractured a bone in his pinky finger while fighting a former classmate during his OHL days. It was the first fight of his career when McDavid dropped the gloves and successfully beat up a player on the Mississauga Steelheads. And although he won the fight, unfortunately being stuck in a cast for four weeks meant he was potentially going to miss representing Canada at the World Juniors in 2015. Thankfully, they were able to remove the cast just days before puck drop, and McDavid would go on to help Canada win gold over Russia 5-4 in the finals. Tied for first in points, McDavid would record three points and eight assists in just seven games. What facts surprised you the most and what player do you want to see next? Let us know in the comments below.